and gentlemen welcome welcome back to my channel and today we're gonna do some of the pvp content with my usual pvp team setup silver surfer which leads jingwei and colossus against those pvp tier 3 sentry because if you take a look at the timeline battle here i think there's quite of them already have tier 3 sentry yeah. all right as you can see right over here especially in vibranium league there's few of them already have tier 3 sentry that's fantastic uh, so i actually went ahead by using my silver surfer try to solo sentry for a few battles and then right after that i also try to use my gene grade against sentry it's kind of like the solo clear not the two versus one thing so that you know how well silver surfer and gene grade is doing especially against sentry the reason why i want to do this content there's two reasons First of all, since I don't have tier 3 sentry and I don't think I will ever have a fully tier 3 sentry in my roster because the cost is way too expensive. I mean the cost of getting a tier 3, a fully tier 3 sentry is gonna cost you at least four to 5,000 of CCF. So it's a big no to me. So I choose to use my usual PvP team setup against those tier 3 sentry so that you know how powerful sentry is so that you know whether it's worth to spend at least four to 5,000 of CCF just to get a fully tier 3 character to put in your PvP roster. So that's one of the reasons. And the second reason, I just want to do this comparison for you, the PvP comparison. Silver Surfer vs Sentry and Jingwei vs Sentry. They are the PvP meta. They are in the same category and three of them are the universal characters. But Silver Surfer and Jingwei cost way lesser than Sentry but Sentry is a new character. So through this kind of gameplay, through this kind of comparison, you will know who is much more better, you will know who is much more effective in terms of the cost versus the return that you are getting. So we are gonna see whether the 1600 CCF character will be able to defeat the 5000 CCF character or not if Jean Grey or Silver Surfer is able to defeat Sentry. So what is the point for you to spend such high cost just to get a fully tier 3 character? There is no point, right? But we will see it. So that's one of the reasons. And please keep in mind that I still don't have any of the crafter card on my car set. The car set is pretty normal. And I do have a CTP of region on my Jean Grey. Same goes for my Silver Surfer. And I still don't have any of the inside on my Colossus yet. So that's how the build goes. So without any further ado, let's do this together. Alright, so the first team up is gonna be the all-rounder offensive team up. There is no any support character here. The opponent is utilizing the leadership of Sentry, the debuff removal, any addition to the 30% of all attack, which leads Silver Surfer and Jomamu. So let's see what my Silver Surfer can do here. Wow, SS the skill can't even do any damage to Sentry. What the hell is that? Let's try again. Okay, can't do any damage again. Wow. Okay, the SS reflection is working very well here. That's nice. Okay, let's do the tier 3 here. I think it shouldn't be a problem. Okay, it's not working. How about the third skill? Yeah, one shot. That's fantastic. Oh, that's not bad. The reflection is working very well here. Yeah, the SS the skill is a killing machine. You know, the skill one shot, but it's a bit hard to one shot Sentry because uh, he's just that powerful. Yeah, as expected, this silver surfer is rocking with the regen, and the entire team is using a regen as well. That's very nice. Okay, my silver server is dead here. Last this girl to do the rest of the job. Alright, here we go. Okay, he's gonna revive. Okay, I think we won here. Yes, next match. Yeah, this team might be a bit tough here because this team does have the most powerful defensive support which is Colossus. So let's see if my Silver Surfer is able to take down this team or not. Yeah, 
yeah, I'm not gonna lie, you have to be very careful with Sentry the skill. His third skill is almost similar to Noah Saint Alexander, like the multiple punch on your face, but the damage is a lot different here. Sentry can take down any of the character with just his fifth skill, or with just his third skill, or the combination of both. So you have to be very careful uh, in case you are playing against Sentry in timeline battle. Okay, that's nice. My Silver Surfer just take down the defensive version of Sentry because this Sentry is rocking with the regen, which is not too bad. I guess if I were playing this on auto play mode, I might not be able to take down this team to be very honest to you guys. But anyways, the menu mode is gonna produce the best result for you of all the time. Alright, next match. Alright, this team is very interesting. Molecule Man which is Sentry and Silver Surfer. So we are also able to see how well is Molecule Man in PvP in this battle. So let's see. Okay, this Molecule Man must be made of papers, very weak. As Esther skill can settle without any of the problem. Yeah, when his guy is uh, in the iframe, it's okay. But once Molecule Man is land on the ground, it's not gonna be okay. He's gonna get one shot by Silver Surfer. Alright, I got to say that Silver Surfer Reflection is working very well here. Uh, Sentry is dead due to the Reflection. Okay, if you realize that Silver Surfer is not doing anything but Sentry is just dead because of the reflection from Silver Surfer. So that's the best part of Silver Surfer. The reflection is really doing a lot of damage. Now I know Sentry also having the reflection, but it seems that Silver Surfer reflection is much more better. I could be wrong, I mean, at least from what we have seen here. All right, next match. All right, so there's another Molecule Man here which is very interesting. So I feel like in today's Hamla battle, if you are playing on O2, it's better to have at least Colossus on your team for the survivability. But if you are going all the way offensively, you can choose to utilize at least two damage dealer like Jean Grey or Silver Surfer, Dormar Move or Sentry, or even the Immortal Hawk, and in addition to one offensive support like Mystic or Taskmaster, because you can get to kill your opponent as fast as possible when you are having the best possible offensive setup. And if you are playing your characters manually and as always we are gonna get the best possible result when you are in control of your characters that's how it should be okay my silver server is dead here all right the silver server is dead too because of the reflection okay come on come on come on okay so here we go. So right now we are gonna try to use Jean Grey to fight against those tier 3 sentry and see what is the difference. But we are gonna do the same thing here, we are gonna utilize the leadership of Silver Surfer. The extra all attack is crucial, any addition to the remove all debuff, let's see how is she doing here. Alright, the combination of 5 and 4 seem to be doing a really good damage here, uh, that is nice. And yeah, the Phoenix Go defeated the Sentry. Ooh, I'm not gonna lie, the combination of 5 and 4 is still very strong. Jingri is still freaking powerful in PvP. So let's take down the rest of the team here before we proceed further. Yeah, the Mamu is not a problem for Jean Grey, but Silver Surfer is a big problem. It's very difficult for Jean to take down Silver Surfer because of the reflection. So let's see. Alright, I'm very interested in seeing Jean Grey versus Molecule Man and see what is the difference. But this is a level 16 Molecule Man, not level 17 yet. I guess it's just a, a one shot for Jean Grey. Yeah, as expected. 5 and 4, not even 4. 5 is enough. Yeah, another Molecule Man, another one shot. So now let's see how it should doing, especially against tier 3 Sentry.
yeah, her skill just get interrupted by a lot. Uh, especially when Sentry is doing his third skill and his fifth skill. But my tier three is available, so bye bye. Yeah, my gene is dead here because of the reflection. You know, as I say, it's very difficult for Jean Grey to take down Silver Surfer because of the reflection. So if possible, try to avoid using your fourth skill when you are dealing with Silver Surfer. So as you can see, I'm trying my best to avoid the fourth skill. Yeah, we are done here. So next match. Yeah, this team might be a bit tough, I guess, because this team does have Colossus, but let's do this. Yeah, that is very nice. So from the gameplay, I feel like the combination of 5 and 4 is the best combo especially against Sentry. But it's not really when it comes to fighting against Silver Surfer, because as I say, if possible, try to avoid using your 4 skill against Silver Surfer. Because it's, it's gonna reflect a lot and Jean Grey is gonna die from that most of the time. Check it in mind. Alright, so I think this is gonna be the last battle, but this Molecule Man is level 70. So let's see how strong he is and let's see if my Jin can take down this guy or not. Yeah, with level 70, he definitely survived longer, but it's still a piece of cake to Jin Grey. The 5 and the 4 combo, he is dead. There is no way Molecule Man can outperform the strongest S Man member. There is no way, to be honest. So from this gameplay, I feel like if your Jean Grey is rocking with the regen, it's almost impossible for Sentry to one-shot your Jean Grey. But of course, your Jean Grey has to be built in the right way because with the regen, there is an extra HP, there is a healing and there is a shield as well. So it's not that easy for Sentry to take down your Jean Grey. So I'm still very satisfied with the ability of Jean Grey. She's still very strong, uh, can go toe-to-toe -to -toe with Sentry, which is fantastic. The only disadvantage about Jean Grey is actually Silver Surfer, but we still make it, that's very nice. Guys, trust me, there is no point for free to play players, for new players, or even low spender to build up your Sentry. Jean Grey and Silver Surfer is still very strong in the current state of the game, and the fact is they are way cheaper than Sentry. I mean, almost 3000 CCF cheaper than Sentry, so if I were you, Sentry is a big skip to me to be honest. It's not about the power level, it's very strong, I agree with that, but the cost is just way too much. So that's my advice to most of the new players or free to play players, build your gene and silver surfer instead of wasting a huge amount of resources on Sentry. So I hope you guys enjoyed the content, thank you for watching and we'll see you in the next video. Take care.